Hey, hey, thanks for tuning into my channel once again. Today I'm gonna do a quick review on my Senna Bluetooth Cavalry helmet. So stay tuned. just got back from a ride with six other ladies we went up island i mean quite gone we went all the way up to courtney and uh took care of a few things and came back so it was a lovely day for a ride and let me tell you having a bluetooth helmet has so many awesome benefits you can uh, pair it with other riders helmets so you have sort of like an intercom system or what you can also do is uh, make phone calls, take phone calls, make phone calls using like voice styling, listen to music, listen to radio. There's like so many awesome um, benefits to it. So, holy cow, my head feels like hot. <laughs> Not because of the helmet, it's because the weather is like so warm here today. But uh, let's talk a little bit about it. Okay, so here's what this helmet actually looks like. I have not like stickered mine up yet. I'm gonna do it though. You just watch out. <laughs> but uh, the basics of it, I went with a glossy black. There's also a matte black available. Um, it's DOT certified, which is always amazing. It has um, ear flaps. I've seen people use them without them, so you can completely remove them. Um, I love having them on because I find that I can hear so much better when I do have the ear flaps in. And uh, it does come with a second set of ear covers as well, but they're just like these little plastic round things. I, I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> I have so many questions about those. But these are the ones I love and they are really nice and kind of cushioned on the inside as well. As far as the Bluetooth goes, your microphone is actually right up on top here. You cannot see it, but you can sort of feel it. It's almost like dented a little bit or indented. Um, and then your speakers are right here by the ears. You can actually see those ones. So you can hear really, really well with it. Despite of it being an open face helmet, which can generate so much noise naturally, I find that this has been really, really awesome. So here we are as far as the operation of the buttons i found when i first got this helmet i needed like ninja fingers to be able to press them and actually make them do what they were supposed to do but it's getting easier now that i've had it for a little while press plus and the middle button there's actually three buttons minus middle and plus you press these two hold them down and it starts up it said hello i don't know if you got so here we are. It's blue so that you know that it's on. To turn it off, it's the same thing. Bye. You hold it down and it says goodbye. Um, in order to start the call, I'm not going to call anyone right now, you guys. But you just hold down the middle. There's like different... To me, it comes so naturally by now, so I I can't even think of what the, what the actual formula is. So in order for you to answer a phone call, you tap the middle once. You tap it once to turn it off, you uh, press it for th uh, three seconds, I believe. Um, and what you can also do then is yeah, play music and track forward and back. It comes with this super handy little guide. I'll actually show you guys. I keep this in my saddlebags because sometimes I kind of forget when I, do, when I have to use functions that I don't use on a daily basis, like taking calls and making calls. But yeah, it comes with this little ring and everything is here for you guys. Like this is so super handy. But overall, honestly, I have found this amazing. The one thing that I had to do, because as you can observe, I have quite the round head. <laughs> and this helmet, shape-wise, it's more like, it's quite oval. So when I first got this helmet, it was squeezing the sides of my head and I almost returned it. So like, 
this is my honest review but you can you, you you can see that i'm actually using the helmet and i'm actually loving it so i made it work by i'll give you an inch trick this is probably like something you shouldn't do but i read it on biker forums so everybody's doing it <laughs> so this uh liner here by the way it comes off with snaps you can see and inside like with all uh, helmets it's just kind of this styrofoam kind of a thing but it's really really dense so what i literally did i took the liner out and i put the helmet well i put the helmet on first and i kind of tried to gauge like where the points were that were tight to the point of almost causing me a headache then i took it off took the liner out and then i used the back of a spoon and i i was i literally was doing this kind of a motion at, at the points of pressure with the back of a spoon like just a good old tablespoon and i did it until i got the fit i wanted it it didn't take much just a couple minutes of kind of back and forth motion on both sides where it was hurting and this helmet has been amazing since so i cannot give you like any safety advice i don't want to get sued for something but if you have issues with your helmet fit you may want to just do some research and see if you can make it more comfortable i think i'm allowed to say stuff like that so but anyway overall it's beautiful it's gorgeous i know that a lot of people who have this helmet they prefer to take this little you know visor thing off i personally think especially as a girl it is so freaking cute there's no way i'm gonna take it off <laughs> so this is how i wear it this is what it looks like on me oh and i'm gonna give you one piece of advice as well um i don't know if it's real advice but these little ear flap things i'll turn this off before i drain my battery <laughs> But these ear flap things, they're not attached in any sort of a way. They literally go between the shell and the kind of inner core. And what happens is that they they kind of come off very easily. They are attached by this little loopy thing to the side straps. But still, like before I put it on every, each and every time, I make sure that I push the ear pieces in because yeah i've had them go flying a couple of times as i was putting the helmet on but if you kind of take care of that it's pretty awesome this is what it looks like close up i love it it's so comfy now after what i did and yeah just just your standard little thing here um what i do like and i've seen a lot of helmets not have i don't know why is this little snap thing that way this thing doesn't flap against my face as i'm riding um and for taking it off it does have one of these loopy things i think that's pretty standard with anything and everything out there right now but here it is this is the senna cavalry bluetooth helmet comparison time let me show you my very first helmet that i'm so weirdly attached to i think i'm gonna like be buried with it one day when the time comes because it's my first helmet so i don't even know what it's called but it's one of the hjc like you see these on the roads everywhere right like it's just your standard open face helmet as you can tell i'm kind of a fan of open face helmets i'm a bit claustrophobic so i mean it's seen all kinds of days it's scratched up i got it when um when i first got my motorcycle license and here's proof that i went to sturgis cannot the safety council that's who i did my license through or the the training i guess the classics training and then there's more stickers and of course don't hate me because i'm beautiful <laughs> i don't know why i bought that but i've been sporting it ever since so the main difference between these two helmets the senna cavalry and this one weight wise the senna is a little bit heavier this is the side by side look so the senna is definitely sleeker looking this one here, now that I've had the Senna, the HJC, the visor looks kind of like, kind of like a duck. <laughs> I don't know. But what I do like about the HJC just a tad more is that it has the, like you can zip it out, but it has the neck and ear cover all attached to the helmet. Like it doesn't come off like the little ear flaps on the other helmet 
so I, I really really think that these people nailed nailed the design if they could put this on the Senna helmet oh my god yeah I, w I would like not change anything the Senna doesn't have any vents but this one here does and yeah like I know this helmet is like ancient it's like literally from I don't know 2002 2003 whatever it, uh, whenever I bought it um, but I know that they still make these like our local bike shop still has these or very very similar ones from the same company so I still really like it but like it's just the whole look is so different this has so much thicker of a padding and I mean I've used it for a lot as well but it feels like it comes up so much higher makes my head look like really oblong <laughs> towards the sky well this one it's just so much kind of slimmer so anyway here's a little comparison between these two and as with most helmets out there it also comes with its own little bag so this one is super handy i like to keep it in my saddlebag just in case i ever want to take the helmet actually with me wherever i go and this bag it's a little bit different i mean i know it's just the bag but it has a drawstring and it can actually transform into like a little mini backpack so you can grab your helmet and take it with you um, especially if you leave your bike into like in an area where you maybe are afraid of theft or something like that so you don't want to leave any loose items such as helmets um, on your bike just hanging there so this bag is super duper handy too oh and one more thing so i always call it senna i'm european this is just how we would say uh and then so, somebody said no it's Sina." So I went on YouTube and the people from Senna actually did a video. There's a YouTube video where they say that both ways are correct. Even their own staff members say half say it one way, half say it the other way. So yeah, I dodged that one. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. I'm going to see you again next time.